everybody. I am back today with a wonderful winter time tip, a household tip. Normally on Tuesdays on my blog, I do a Tuesdays tips and tricks. Sometimes it's just a blog post. Sometimes it's a video. And today I've got a good one for you. So it's freezing here in the United States. We have like this polar shift going on and we're getting all this cold weather. And so many of us have working fireplaces in our homes. And it's not always easy to keep those fireplaces going or to get them going especially when you're bringing damp wood in from outside it just can be a struggle to keep a fire going but they do make fire starters and fire starters you can pick up at Walmart or at Lowe's they're in a box they're like sticks or pieces of wood that you strike put them in your fire and they burn for a while and get your fire hot well they're $20 a box and I just think that's high when you probably have everything you need in your home to make a wonderful fire starter so what I'm talking about is a paper egg carton, dryer lint, and leftover candle wax of candles that you burned almost all the way down and you know really don't know what to do with. Or you can always pick up a candle from the dollar store for a dollar and those work perfectly fine too. So I'm gonna show you how to make these to get this beautiful fire and they're so simple. If you wanna see how to make them, I'll show you everything. Keep watching. Okay, so let's get started with the stuff we're going to need to make this very, very simple fire starter. I like to work on wax paper just so if there's any mess with the wax, it will go on here and you can easily throw this away. You're going to need some paper egg cartons. Now, I have two of them and these are perfect little fire starters. They're cardboard. Now, be careful. The ones I normally get are plastic. Those will not work. They will put off really bad fumes. Definitely always use the paper ones and just rip them apart just as so. Then you're going to need some dryer lint. Now this is the lint that comes off your clothes. We just keep ours in a, you know, old laundry box. Um, if you do not have access to this, ask some family, friends, go to a laundry place, get some from there. But this is just dryer bent. Um, lint basically from our clothes, but if you do not have access a roll of toilet paper will work just fine too But this actually works better Remember that this is this lint is the number in your dryer is the number one fire starter in the United States on your home So always empty the the vent on your dryer and get all of that lint out and This is a great way to reuse it you're also going to need some type of little pan for wax and you can take your old candles and definitely use that wax or you can buy some cheap ones like I got this one for a dollar and if you take your old candles you can just scrape out the wax with a knife into the pot right in. I don't care if there's hair or anything else in this it matters not it's not like we're eating this because see that little metal um, candle wick that will mess up your microwave you can sit these down in boiling water too to do it but I can scrape them out just as I'm doing here we'll get this one scrape out as much as the wax as you can get it doesn't matter if the wax is different colors it doesn't matter See, look, that whole piece came right out, and there's the metal. So these can go in the garbage. And I'm going to take two of these candles, these dollar candles. These are just really cheap. And you know that fire starter that we have bought over the years is like $20 a box. And I still use them every once in a while when I run out of these. But this is such a great way to make a homemade fire start starter that is easy and um, normally I like to try to pull off the label and get the wick out but if I can't I'll pull the wick out once I get it melted it's not a big deal I'm gonna do two of them um, the more wax the longer your fire starter is gonna last so I'm just gonna put two in wish I could get that sticker off there we go here we go and so all you do is just pop out the wick. See that? Now it's ready. Let me try to get this one. There we go. Um, and the paper, if you had some paper on your candle, it's not going to hurt anything either. 
Um, but there's that metal wick straight out. You don't need the wick either at all. So these will melt down. Let's get them on the stove. So I have the candles. They're already starting to melt in this pot over medium heat. And we'll just let those melt while we get the rest of the stuff ready. Um, again, you don't have to boil them or anything. You just want to get the, the wax completely melted. So all you're going to want to do is fill each of the little eggs, the little holes, up with some of that dryer lint. Just fill them in. About a golf ball size, I would say. Fill those little holes right on in there. You don't have to be particular with this, you're going to burn it, so. Fill them up. So all of these have dryer lint in them. And dog hair. A little bit more. Okay. Now, if you want to do the toilet paper, how I do that is very simple. Almost the exact same way. I take, take some and I just put little balls right along the edge. Now, you can get the cheapest toilet paper known to man. And it will work just fine. Now remember with these that these have the slots in the front. So you definitely want the toilet paper to cover that up. Just put it straight in. What I like is not having to pay $20 for um, fire starters whenever there's stuff at home you can use that works so much easier and so many people wonder what to do with those candles that are almost burnt out but not completely and almost you know where you can't light them um, and this is a great way to use those up so this is ready I probably could put one more you can make it as tight as you want Put another little, little one here Another little one here. Okay, just like that. Uh, a little more right there. Okay, next one. Same thing. Now the reason we're putting it in little balls and not strips is because you're going to be tearing off or cutting um, a little section. So it's nicer if the toilet paper is in little balls that you can easily, you know, tear around. I just wanted to show you two alternatives if, in case you don't have dryer lint. We always have dryer lint because we do so much the laundry. It's too big. We do too much laundry and um, we always have dryer lint. Okay, so my wax is melted, and all you're going to do is pour. Now, I have a mitten because your pot will probably be hot. You're just going to pour that wax right over slowly so you don't use it all. Right over all of your lint. And let it absorb into the egg carton. When you see it like absorbing into the bottom, you know you're doing good. Okay, on to the next one. Same with the toilet paper. Again, the wax paper keeps any of the wax right on there. Okay, I can see it absorbing, so that one's good.
This smells really good because of the candles. Now on to the last one. You can see, see it absorbing? On to this one. I like to just drizzle it, see? And just finishing it up. I'm going to take that piece of paper, but it wouldn't really matter. I'll leave it. No, it won't. Okay, now we're going to let these dry. That's all you're going to do. So just let them sit here and dry. And then we'll put them, and they're heavy now. They are, they have some weight to them. We're going to let them dry, which won't take long. You know, wax doesn't take long to harden. And then we'll put them in the firebox, and we will just pull one off, and I'll show you exactly how I do that. And um, show you how these... Okay, so I set these outside in the cold for about an hour. They are completely ready. So let's go build a fire. Okay, so I got my little fire starters with me. And let's talk about the fireplace. Make sure that if you're making a fire, to have an actual working fireplace. I know that sounds funny, but some of them are just for design. Some of them are like electric um, or like a gas. But make sure you can actually use it for a real fireplace before you attempt any of this and on the bottom you know you want to make sure to get out all the ashes from the previous night and make sure they're they're not hot and then take your smaller sticks and put them at the bottom and you want to have room for oxygen so make sure you know you just don't pile things on now i'm only starting with three little pieces of wood to get it burning and then once it starts going i'll add more wood as needed so what we do with these, now you can use scissors or you can just tear them off. And if I could do it one-handed, I would. Let's see. There we go. So all you do is take a section. I like to take one and put it on one side. I'll just like that. My hands will be all black if I'm not careful. Another one on this side. And I think I will go ahead and put one in the middle. And then all you have to do is light them. And it's cardboard. It's going to catch on fire. Pretty quick. And all you have to do is let it burn. And it will last somewhere around 15 minutes. The little paper carts with the... Um, wax on them. The wax is going to help those little cartons burn longer, ensuring that you get that wood good and hot. See from below? See them burning? And this really works, as you can see. It's only been like a minute or two. Um, I haven't moved. Um, and this really works well. You're using all kinds of recycled stuff from your house. You're using the egg cartons and the lint and leftover candle wax. And that wax that has dried on the egg cartons makes those um, egg cartons and um, lint burn longer. And this is such a nice tip for anybody who actually, you know, uses a fireplace on a regular basis. Um, because that fire starters in boxes, they, they are like $20. And this tip has saved us so much money over the years. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Check out the details on my blog at kjaggers.com. I'll have tons of pictures and information over on this video. Um, but this is the sure way of having a fire starter that is, you know, using more natural stuff and not chemicals and fire starters and all that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.